Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on myocardial infarction. Uh, my name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. Uh, myocardial infarction is a continuum that extends from normal state to full infarction. So when blood supply uh, decreases to the uh, heart muscle uh, due to blockage of coronary artery, this causes myocardial ischemia. If uh, the blood supply uh, completely blocked or there is acute uh, narrowing of uh, blood vessel, this leads to necrosis of the heart muscle and myocardial infarction. Uh, for the blood supply of the heart, there is mainly right coronary artery and left coronary artery, which gives uh, left anterior descending artery and left circumflex artery. Right coronary artery supplies the inferior part of the heart and the right ventricle. Left anterior descending artery supplies the interventricular septum and a large part of the left ventricle. Left circumflex artery supplies the inferior posterior part of the left ventricle. This is in most of the patients. There is phases, five phases of the myocardial infarction. First phase is hyperacute phase, where there is peak tall T wave. And second phase is acute phase, where uh, ST elevation starts to appear with T wave still positive. And third phase is the evolving phase, where uh, uh, there is start Q wave and T wave become negative. Evolved phase, there is a uh, uh, normalization of the ST segment with uh, remaining uh, uh, T wave inversion and Q wave and healed phase only or most often only Q wave is the remaining. Again, five phases for myocardial infarction. There is a hyperacute phase where there is tall peak the T wave and acute phase, there is ST elevation with positive T wave. Uh, evolving phase, there is uh, uh, inverted T wave with ST elevation. Fully evolved phase, there is Q wave start beer uh, or enlarged Q wave. And healed phase, only remaining Q wave. How to measure ST elevation? It's measured from the uh, J point. J point is the junction between ST segment and the QRS complex. To uh, say this is ST elevation, we must have more than 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.2 millivolt in men or 0 0.15 millivolt in women in leads V2 and V3 or 0 0.0 more than 0 0.1 millivolt in the other leads. So this is the J point and this is normal ST segment. This is the J point and this is elevated ST segment uh, to uh, more than two small squares means that more than 0.2 millivolt. This is the J point also, and this is ST elevation. This is the J point here, and this is ST depression. So according to place of infarction, it will appear in which hole in infarction, it will appear in which lead. So septal infarction appears in V1 and V2, anterior infarction in V3, V4, anteroseptal V1 to V4, lateral infarction in lead 1, lead AVL, and V5 till V6, anterolateral infarction in V3 till V6, and lead 1 and AVL, and extensive anterolateral infarction from V1 till V6 and lead 1 AVL, and inferior wall infarction V uh, lead 2, lead 3, and AVF. Again, septal infarction is lead 1, uh, V1 and V2, anterior infarction V3 and V4, lateral infarction in V5, V6, AVL, and uh, lead 1, and inferior infarction in lead 2, 3, and AVF. Uh, here, there is ST elevation, more than uh, one small square, and more than 0 0.15 in lead uh, uh, V2 and V3, and there is slight elevation here in lead V1. This is uh, septal myocardial infarction. Anterior uh, STEMI, there is ST elevation and Q waves here in lead V2, V3, and here ST elevation in lead V4. As anterior myocardial infarction, which we call it widowmaker, this appears due to occlusion of left anterior descending artery. 
and its uh, poorest prognosis uh, are, are among all myocardial infarctions due to large area of infarction. As, and as we said before, anterior uh, leads are V3 and V4. However, LAD uh, usually supplies uh, septum also and uh, also supplies the anterior wall. Uh, uh, so it supplies the interventricular and lateral wall of the heart. And this usually extends from anterior to anterolateral or anterocepta. Uh, here, if the thrombus, this is the LAD. If the thrombus in, uh, in the proximal LAD, the septum and anterior segment of and lateral wall will be involved. This leads to ST segment elevation in V1, 2, V6, and also lead 1 and FL. This is what we call extensive anterolateral ST elevation myocardial infarction. If uh, LED thrombus in the middle of the artery, this usually gives rise to uh, uh, ST segment elevation in V3 till V6. Anthroceptal uh, uh, STEMI or myocardial infarction, as we said here, V1 slight elevation. Here it's obvious ST segment elevation in V2 and V3 and in V4. High lateral ST segment uh, elevation, MI, there is ST segment elevation in lead one, if we compare J junction here, and lead FAL. And there is reciprocal changes also in inferior leads, and we will speak about reciprocal changes in a minute. There is ST depression in lead three and lead FF, and also in lead two. Uh, high lateral STEMI, uh, this is because of occlusion of the diagonal branch of the left anterior descending artery, which uh, uh, lead to ST elevation in lead one and lead AVL, and usually reciprocal changes in inferior leads. Anterolateral STEMI, there is ST elevation here in lead one, lead uh, V1, V2, and lead V3, and also there is uh, uh, lead 1 and lead AVL, there is ST elevation, and there is reciprocal changes in inferior leads here in V2, in lead 2, lead 3, and FF. Extensive anterolateral STEMI, as we said, this usually due to a thrombus in uh, uh, proximal part of LAD. There is ST elevation and Q waves in lead V2, V3, and lead 4, and V5 and V6 plus lead one and AVL plus there is reciprocal changes here in lead three and FF. Uh, inferior ST elevation myocardial infarction in inferior wall find ST elevation in lead two, lead three and AVF and reciprocal changes will be in lateral leads like AVL and lead one. Uh, Inferior STEMI accounts for 40 to 50% of myocardial infarction, and up to 40% of patients will have right ventricular infarction, which develop severe hypotension in response of nitrate. So it's uh, uh, contraindicated to give nitrate if there is suspected right ventricular infarction. Also may be associated with posterior wall infarction, which is poor prognosis due to large area of infarcted uh, myocardium, up to 20% will develop significant bradycardia, second or third degree AV block was increased in hospital mortality due to effect on uh, AV node. Uh, reciprocal changes means a mirror image between uh, uh, two places or two electrodes. So lateral leads will be mirror image for inferior leads and inferior leads will be mirror image of lateral leads. Uh, here, if we are speaking about uh, uh, this ECG, there is ST elevation in inferior leads, lead 2, 3, and AVF, and there is reciprocal changes in lead 1, lead AVL, and lead 5, and V6 lateral leads. So if there is ST elevation in lateral leads, there will be a reciprocal in inferior. If there is ST elevation in inferior, there will be reciprocal in lateral leads. For this ST segment depression and positive T wave, uh, we'll speak in the next video, inshallah. It's about uh, posterior wall myocardial infarction. Uh, as a note, take care that when you find ST depression in presence of ST elevation, this is a reciprocal changes, not subendocardial 
ischemia and uh, because anterior leads only reciprocal uh, will be reciprocal changes for posterior leads so for anterior leads and septal mi there is no reciprocal changes STEMI is a STEMI treatment for all ST elevation myocardial infarction is the same which is chronic uh, acute uh, quick coronary revascularization either by uh, primary PCI or thrombolytic therapy uh, for differential diagnosis of ST elevation and ST depression there is many other causes for ST elevation uh, rather than myocardial infarction early repolarization pericarditis ventricular aneurysm pulmonary embolism and intracranial hemorrhage for st segment depression other causes like uh, myocardial ischemia left ventricular hypertrophy interventricular conduction defects medications like digitalis uh, which causes salvador daily uh, uh, st segment uh, shape and reciprocal changes for myocardial infarction will be by st segment depression uh, thank you and see you in the next video, inshallah.